Hey guys, so I have four juice reviews for you today, and they're from this American based company called Vapon Liquids. The four juices are coloured, and they are Rancher Candy, which is a hot pink, Blue Eyes, which is a light blue, Visitor's Gift, which is a light green, and Tidal Wave, which is kind of like purplish pink. Now, the four juices that I have are of a 50 50 PG VG blend, mine of 12 milligrams. And you can pick one of these guys up at vaponliquids.com, which is spelled as V A P E O N L I Q U I D S.com. And they go for $6.99 for a 15ml or $12.99 for a 30ml. Now, the chap behind Vapon Liquids actually passed me a card and it says you can get a 10% off your first order if you're to use promo code PEACH, which is spelled as P E A C H, and it's on caps which works out to be roughly if my math is actually right 12, 11 bucks 70 for a 30 ml which makes it a pretty good deal in my opinion so anywho let's first start off with blue eyes now blue eyes is described on the website as a special secret blend requested by a friend now personally i do not quite like product descriptions that are like these as you have no idea what what exactly is in the the juice blend and because of that I usually tend to like shy away from like product descriptions like these but anywho I currently have mine in my APV um, pure with a dual coil setup at 0 0.7 ohms and 3 to 5 straw mesh so here goes So get good vapor production of this e-liquid. And I tried all these juices on both a high wattage setup, like my Genesis Atomizers, and on a low wattage setup in which I dripped into a 510 dripping atomizer from about 7 watts to 10 watts. On a high wattage setup, I had menthol on the inhale with like this icy burst of like menthol on the exhale. It was only right at the end of the vape in which I could taste like a blue raspberry flavor. And this blue raspberry flavor is actually kind of mild in my opinion and you only taste it like right towards the end of the vape. The menthol for this though is actually really strong. When I first vaped it, I was totally surprised by like the intensity of the menthol as personally I've not tried like a menthol juice that had this had such an icy cool effect like in my mouth like to the point where after vaping it my entire throat was still like really cool just from the menthol out of it. On a low wattage setup, I had a slight coolness on the inhale with a mix of like menthol and blue raspberry on the exhale. You definitely can taste like more menthol, more blue raspberry on a low wattage device. However, it's not as cool of a menthol as compared to like a high wattage device, even though you definitely still can taste like the menthol there. Throat hit for this e-liquid. I found to be like slightly below average as while no doubt you can actually taste like and feel the throat hit of like the menthol, the throat hit in terms of like the actual nicotine is not quite there as I did not quite like that full on like nicotine kick at the back of the throat when I was vaping this. So next up is Tidal Wave. Now Tidal Wave is described on the website as a strawberry blue raspberry hint of menthol mix. Now I currently have mine in my steam turbine with a 0.7 ohms dual coil setup with 2 to 5 straw mesh. So here it goes. So again, great clouds once again. Now on a high wattage setup, I had a berry flavor on the inhale with like this really strong menthol flavor. Rather similar to like this, the same intensity of menthol as that of blue eyes on the exhale. Right underneath this menthol though, I actually got like a berry note with like a hint of blue raspberry right at the end of the exhale. The berry note is actually kind of like similar to that of like a strawberry, I would say. Not quite a Jolly Rancher strawberry, but a candied strawberry in fact. While the blue raspberry note I found to be like much more intense in like blue eyes as compared to like tidal wave in fact. Throat hit for this e-liquid is once again like that of blue eyes in which 
you you definitely can get like the menthol throat head out of it but not quite the nicotine kick that you can actually find like in a number of juices that are out there on a low wattage setup i was kind of like disappointed in it on a low wattage device as compared to a high wattage one as i had not much of a flavor on the inhale however on the exhale it was mainly menthol with like just a really really subtle hint of like blue raspberry in fact it did take me a while to actually get a taste of that blue raspberry flavor that was entire wave so next up is visitor's gift now visitor's gift is described on the website as berry dragon fruit and a hint of menthol so i currently have mine in my hellfire mini mega with a one ohm coil and 200 strum ash so here goes So you have average clouds of this e-liquid. On a high wattage setup, I have menthol on the inhale with this really strong dragon fruit flavor on the exhale. The menthol, in my opinion, actually came off more like an underlying flavor to this dragon fruit on the exhale. And the berries in this is actually really subtle. And it comes off more as a hint, like right at the end of the vape. In my, in my opinion, this berries is actually more similar to that of like a blueberry. And in fact, Visitor's Gift is like my favorite juice out of the entire bunch as the different mix of like the berry, the dragon fruit and the menthol actually works really well in this juice. The redhead for this e-liquid dough is like that of Blue Eyes and Tidal Wave in which you can get taste like and feel the menthol throat head, however you don't quite get the nicotine throat head in this e-liquid. On a low wattage setup, pretty much the same flavor profile as that of a high wattage setup. So next up is Rancher Candy, which is described on the website as a sweet fruity blend with a familiar intensity. So I currently have mine in my iHybrid Pure with a 0.8 ohms coil and 3 to 5 straw mesh. So here it goes. To get great clouds of this e-liquid. Now in a high wattage setup, add a subtle watermelon flavor on the inhale with like a full-on candied watermelon on the exhale. If I were to compare it to something, it's actually really similar to that of an Airheads or a Hubba Bubba watermelon bubblegum if you guys have tried one of those before. On a low wattage setup, pretty much the same flavor profile as that of a high wattage setup. Throat head for this e-liquid once again is actually on the low side as I could not quite get much of a throat hit out of this e-liquid as I did not feel that like great kick at the back of the throat as I was vaping it. So overall, if you're a menthol fan, definitely check out Vapon e-liquids as the menthol in the juices are actually really strong and it's a nice change, I guess, like from the other like menthol juices that are out there that actually uses menthol more like a complement to these to their e-liquids while Vapon actually uses menthol as like this massive cooling effect in your throat. If you have to pick one, definitely check out Visitor's Gift as in my opinion the flavor of that is just really great and it's definitely worth the price in my opinion if you were to use the coupon code 11 bucks 70 not quite a price that can be beat as it brings the overall like cost per milligrams per, per milliliter actually rather low in my opinion which is well worth the money i guess so yeah i guess that's all i have for you guys today um like comment subscribe to my channel if you guys are keen and see you guys next video peace